What is going on guys, it is Master Rolf here, welcome back to another Your Army video. So, today we have uh, got quite a lot to go through. I went through the comments in the last video and lots of people wanted uh, me to upgrade and gem a Tesla, uh, gem a Inferno Tower, gem a load of Wizard Towers, and I really didn't want to do that. I don't want to spend any gems on this account. I know you will ask me to, um, to gem the Inferno Tower because it would be funny, but at the moment I'm not going to do that. Uh, but then I read down and somebody said, buy all the defenses you can, but just keep them at level 1 for now. So you basically have a ton of defenses at a low level. And this is so far what I have. So the whole base is surrounded by a, uh, a wooden wall. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 archer towers. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh, I swear we had seven, but maybe not, maybe six, uh, and six cannons. So we've got six archers, six cannons, a load of bombs hidden around the place, absolutely everywhere, with a load of spring traps as well, a mortar, and it's a pretty damn good defense, to be fair. Obviously, the um, the walls at the moment are not placed well, but that's what we're going to do today, is we're going to reposition the walls, we're going to redo our base, and try and make it the best uh, level 27 bronze one base you can, uh, obviously because we gemmed it to uh, Town Hall 10. So, let's redo this. First of all, what I want to do is show you an attack on this defense at the moment. Uh, I've been attacked a couple of times with it, and this is how it went down. It actually got taken out surprisingly easily. I didn't think this would be taken out very easily at all, because uh, there's quite a lot there. But a few ba uh, barch later, I think he literally just used a barch, and he was able to take it down. So let's see how this goes. Alright, so the base looks pretty strong. In come a ton of barbarians. A few get flung off the side. But he's basically going for the cannons, which are obviously outside and are unprotected, which is a big issue. Uh, and we can sort that out with the amount of walls. But he basically has gone for quantity. The amount of barbarians he's thrown at the base is quite a lot for this level. Uh, they start hitting at the town hall, and in come a few more. So some of them are getting sprung away, uh, but there's just too many of them. And they get the town hall slowly, but they start taking it down. So he spawns a few more in. I think really what he's trying to do here is go for the elixir. Because if you look at the elixir available to these guys, 60,000 elixir is a crazy amount, especially at this town hall. So he starts to hit it down. He starts getting that sweet, sweet purple elixir nougat center that he wants. Uh, and he gets about 10,000, I think, from that lot. Yeah, they take about 10,000, maybe purpley around 10,000. Uh, the town hall obviously is uh, being taken down very slowly. He only actually just gets it, surprisingly, um, he doesn't get, obviously they're, they're really low level barbarians, so they don't have much power, uh, but they, there's enough of them to actually take out my town hall, uh, HP level 10. And he goes away with, you know, an alright amount of loot, but to be honest, it wasn't nothing amazing, it was more of the fact that he two-starred me, and he was able to break in and get to the elixir, which kind of annoyed me. So, we're going to go sort that out. But before we do, I want to show you the kind of raids I've been getting at the moment. So I'm going to show you my last two uh, raids, which have been kind of interesting and kind of slow as well. So I've been doing the Barbarians and Goblins. And to be fair, when I see one like this, as you can see, I just spawn them all up and have them cause absolute havoc. The reason for this is I want to jump up uh, into silver and into gold as fast as I can so I can start actually getting more loot. It's very rare I find any loot over a thousand at the moment so hopefully when i jump into silver three which shouldn't be too long i should actually find some uh, well some better loot i'm hoping like ten thousand per raid uh would would be quite nice at the moment but yeah we pretty much destroyed this base uh without any questions asked and then we found another one uh, which got another hundred percent on this the reason i'm showing this was this is a good loot i saw this 307 loot and i was like whoa my gosh where is all this gold come from it's pretty insane. I think I've had one raid so far being Town Hall level 10 where I've got 10,000 gold. And that's it. That is literally it. It's pretty naff. But as you can see, I spawned in a few barbarians to start off with taking out all the defenses because the defenses were in the corners. So I took all of those out first. And then I just spawned a ton of goblins in. Uh, and they obviously went in and just caused absolute havoc as they do. And without a doubt, it was probably one of the quicker raids I've done. And it was an alright amount of loot. It's sadly, sadly saying it, that is a good amount of loot. But we got 23 trophies, so we're pushing up into silver anyway. Alright, so let us do our base a favor and let's rebuild it. So we basically have this area in the center here because we've got trees, which we can't remove yet. No, because we haven't got a builder free. So obviously, to start off with, we want the town hall right in the epicenter. There we go. And we're going to wall basically everything because we have a lot of walls. 
Literally, we have loads and loads of walls. So this is kind of going to be a crazy uh, low-level base build. I'm even going to double up on this wall for absolutely no reason other than I can. <laughs> All right, there we go. A nice doubled-up wall right there. One more. There we go. Okay, so next to that, what we're going to do is we're going to put our elixir storages. Our elixir storages are probably our um, creme de la creme at the moment. They are the most important things. So I'm going to put one there. Um, what's that wall? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Remove. What am I doing? Select row, remove. And I'm going to put another one there. Uh, so they're going to have this kind of one space gap. And we'll build... Actually, no, we want them on separate sides, to be honest. And I'll put a gold storage next to them. Let's put a gold storage there. And... Um, I'm going to put a gold storage there. Okay, so we've got this kind of gap space in the middle. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put some more walls around them, and then we'll also put some hidden bombs uh, in the center. So I'm going to drop in a hidden bomb and a hidden trap in each one of these. And I'm hoping if anyone tries to get in there, that might take them down a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's let's put the walls back around. Dun, 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 dun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add an extra third wall. <laughs> we have so many walls. We literally have tons of walls, hence why I'm adding this extra wall. And there we go. Let's build this wall in there to split these off. And boom, there we go. So while I'm doing this, guys, I just want to announce there is an iPhone 6 giveaway going on on my channel, which is super amazing. Thanks to my sponsors, Free My Apps. Uh, if you want to enter, make sure you check the channel for all the information. Uh, there, there is no way to enter, really. It's just a giveaway to all you subscribers. So, yeah, I just wanted to announce it and say thank you guys for 100 k which we hit the other day. That kind of rhymed. Maybe I should be a rapper. Maybe. The of rapper. I don't know what I'd call myself. Of rapper. I don't know. So we've got two Archer Towers there covering uh, the Town Hall and their closest partner of Elixir. We've got two mortars. One of them's being built. Um, maybe I should have put the mortars kind of closer in. I don't know. I'm going to put one more. No, I'm just going to put them there and there. Why the hell not? And then on the other sides, we're going to put some uh, kind of cannons. Boom. And... Boom, there we have it. That is looking like a mean kind of defense. <laughs> it's actually not looking mean at all. I need to put that up one, I think. That goes there. Cannon's looking sweet. Okay, so next to all of these, we're going to put an extra one. So we need to put kind of one more because we have quite a few uh, cannons to put around. So we're going to put them right next to their defenses. Hopefully, uh, the good thing about this is I can't actually protect these because of these trees. That's going to be a problem. I need to make sure I can get the walls the whole way around them. Um... So at the moment, it's gonna be—it's gonna look very bizarre, uh, but that's only because I can't destroy everything right now. I literally cannot destroy everything, so it's kind of kind of a pain. So I might just do some freestanding stuff. So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna build some really weirdly placed archer towers, uh, kind of close but not as well. We're trying to make everybody spawn really far back, and then they have to kind of work their way through this insane defense that I'm building right here. Uh, I'm gonna put another one there to cover that mortar tower. There we go. And that is all our defenses. This is such a bizarre, bizarre build. I've never seen anything quite like it, to be totally honest. But you guys told me to build a crazy base using all defenses. So let's use our walls. And what we need to do is start locking in uh, all of these things. So I'm going to lock all these down. These are going to kind of partner up. So we're actually going to have a double wall here. And if I put this all the way across... It should be relatively easy to cut these up. There we go. We can just like drag it and cut and cut and cut. Beautiful. All right. Let's bring this around. There we go. People are going to be so confused when they see this base. They're literally like, going to be like, what the hell? Is that good? Am I going to be able to beat it? Or is that like a hard base or what? I can't actually build. Uh, I can't defend that cannon because of the, because of the trees. So we're going to have to kind of work our way to that a little bit later. These are going to be the issues we have uh, with this base is just kind of awkward stuff like trees. All right, and we'll build all that away across up here. The messiest base ever, but I'm hoping the whole point in this base, if you're wondering like what the hell is going on? Uh, everyone told me to get all the defenses and just make a crazy base that is basically, first of all, we're Town Hall 10 in bronze. Uh, and people are going to be like, what is that anyway? And now they're going to look at it and go, how the hell do I attack this thing? This is just like a mess. I don't know how to attack it, which is the whole point in this base build. So, it's going to be quite interesting to see if uh, people can can defeat it at this level. I'm not expecting them to, but 
Some people do amaze you. All right, so what I'm going to do as well is right next to the mortars, I'm going to put a, uh, a bomb and a spring trap because I'm expecting that uh, to be where people spawn because they want to take out the they want to take out the mortar straight away, right? So they're going to be like that. And then we've got a couple of bombs that we oh no, we've used all our bombs. We've got two spring traps. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there because they'll probably want to take out that lovely T junction bit. And then we're going to spawn our other stuff close around the side. So we're going to spawn because this is heavily protected over here. We're going to spawn our gold collectors. Now the reason I'm doing that is the gold collectors are what has the most gold in them because they're quite a high level. And if I forget to like pull them out for one day, people are just going to be like, oh, "I'm going to take its gold." That's why I'm. That's why I'm protecting my gold, or at least keeping it all close. Sorry, they don't need to protect it by walls, but... Alright, so we're going to put some over here as well. Maybe we'll put um, put a couple of gold here. And then we'll also put a couple of our lovely elixir pumps. I think we, we only have one elixir pump. Yeah, we literally only have one elixir pump, which is kind of mad. Uh, I'm going to put another gold mine there. I'm going to build... I'm going to build a wall around these. Can I build a wall around these? I want to build a wall around these. There we go. So hopefully that now should uh, should kind of funnel people in some weird ways. If I put that there, and then if I actually... I'm going to take that bomb and put it like there. That should funnel people into these really strange areas that I'm creating. <laughs> and we're going to put this one here. And what if we do, if we move this out one space, then hopefully they'll hit that spring trap. And it should, it should actually do some damage trying to funnel them in like this. Don't know if it's going to work, but... We're going to see if it's going to work anyway. We don't really have another choice. And then I'm just going to throw my barracks. Go in barracks. And we've got some army camps which can go on the outside to confuse people even more. And I'm going to hide my builder's hubs up here in the wilderness. So there we have, guys. Oh, wait. You need to place... Oh, wait. I've got that one. Place. Place. Place somewhere. There we go. Oh, i got one wall. I've got one wall. I'll put that one wall there as well. Boom. There we have it. There is our bonkers all defense raid. Um, this is, I'm going to call this the the Raid Destructor. I don't know what to call it. What should we call it, guys? What is this tactic going to be called? Hopefully, nobody's going to be able to get into this town hall. And everything else looks very menacing and confusing that I'm hoping people will just shy away from it. Anyway, it looks like we've got pretty much, we have got full camp. So we can actually go raid somebody. Let's see if we can find someone with a lot of loot. So, like I said, 100 or 200 loot is actually good. Whoa, 388 gold. Rolling in it, baby. This person is rolling it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn them up in the corner. Oh, okay, they want to go for that. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh yeah, they're going for the wall now. So I'm gonna break down this first initial wall. Uh, luckily, no one can see them here. Let's just see. If, is there any builders huts anywhere? No, there's not. So we're gonna take out this first initial wall, send them all in, and then I'm gonna send in my goblins. There we go. Going goblins. Send in some barbarians behind them, followed by some archers. And then we're just going to spawn the rest of our barbarians. Kind of spreading it up a little bit as well. I'm actually going to spawn a couple out for that army camp. And boom, there we go. Let's go get that money. Go make me rich. Go make me rich, goblins. You can do it. All barbarians. We've taken a bit of it. Let's see if we can take it. We've got 300 left. It's fallen. It must all be in the storages. We're getting it. We want to get a one star, though. That's actually kind of what I wanted as a one star. Keep on moving. Don't stand together. There we go, there we go. I really want them to spread out, because if they all spread out, then the mortar would not really be that effective. Uh, but at the moment, the mortar is obviously very, very effective. If it, Oh, no! Oh, speak of the devil. It's just punished a load of my troops. No, not again! Oh, <laughs> yet again. He's just destroyed them. We're on 45%. We need to get one more percent. Are we going to get it? I don't even think we are. I literally do not think we're going to win this raid. Boom. And we lost it. We absolutely lost that raid hard, which puts us down a little bit more. But there we are, guys. There is your army. There is the base. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's keep the likes rolling in on this video. The last one got 2,000 likes, which is amazing. Let's see if we can beat that with this one. Uh, but make sure you comment down below on what you want me to do. If you really, really, and everybody wants me to gem a friggin' Inferno Tower, I'll consider it. But I kind of didn't want to gem. But put your comments down below um, and tell me what you want to do. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.